The best things to do in Newport, Wales. Newport is a vibrant, multicultural city steeped in a rich industrial heritage, where traditional industries sit alongside new electronics and financial service sectors. Newport covers an area of just over 73.5 square miles and stands at the gateway between England and Wales. The best things to do in Newport revolve around the city's intriguing historic sites, top-notch attractions and thriving performance venues. Located on the River Usk, Wales' third largest city is known for its association with the 19th-century Chartist movement. There's something for everyone, whether you're looking to explore ancient Roman remains and modern art galleries or enjoy camping and wildlife watching in a nature reserve. Enjoy memorable experiences on your trip with the best things to do in Newport. The Tredega House The Tredega House is a 17th-century country mansion on the western edge of Newport. It was home to the Morgan family, relatives of the famous Captain Morgan, for centuries before it was occupied by Lords Tredega, one of the most influential families in Wales. The mansion is surrounded by beautifully landscaped grounds, which include part of Tredega Park. You can tour the property to get a glimpse into the opulent rooms and history of the families who once lived in the Restoration House. RSPB Newport Wetlands Reserve The 100 km 2 of wetland along the Severn Estuary, known as the Gwent Levels, have gradually been reclaimed from the sea by people over thousands of years. The birds have benefited too, and this is now one of the most important places for wildlife in Wales. At its heart, the Newport Wetlands Reserve was created to compensate for the loss of the mudflats when the Cardiff Bay Barrage was built in the 1990s, and its 438 hectares of reed beds, lagoons, wet grassland and scrub have attracted a wealth of wetland birds. It's also an excellent place to see orchids, butterflies, dragonflies and otters. The exact species you'll see depends on the time of year, and might include bearded tits, avocets, bitterns, zillions of wildfowl, marsh harriers and peregrines. Newport Castle Newport Castle is among the top attractions in Newport. Constructed in the 14th century, it was used for administrative purposes and underwent waves of attacks throughout the centuries. Today, only the east side stands, and the ruined castle is listed as a historic landmark of Wales. While the public is no longer allowed on the castle grounds or within the ruined walls, you can take in the dramatic view of Newport Castle from nearby footpaths or the banks of the River Usk. 14 Locks Canal and Heritage Centre The problem facing 18th century industrialists was how to transport all that coal, iron, limestone and brick down from the South Wales valleys to Newport's docks. The Monmouthshire Canal was the solution, but the hills around Newport still posed a major obstacle to the canal's 11-mile Crumlin branch. Completed in 1799, the 14 Locks Canal and Heritage Centre is an ingenious flight of 14 locks and is one of the world's finest examples of the canal engineer's art, raising the water level by 50 metres, supported by a series of ponds, sluices and weirs to control the water supply. Today it's simply a lovely place to go for walks along the canal towpath, to enjoy the wildlife and surrounding countryside, which includes the Alt Year Run Nature Reserve. St. Woolis Cathedral St. Woolis Cathedral, also known as the Newport Cathedral, is the Cathedral of the Diocese of Monmouth in the Church of Wales. Named after the 5th century Welsh saint who first founded the religious site, it is believed to have been around since the Age of Saints. Due to attacks from invaders and pirates, St. Woolis Cathedral has been ruined and rebuilt numerous times over the centuries. Now, it stands as a pilgrimage site for historians and offers a unique glimpse into Wales' past. The Steel Wave The Steel Wave is a 14-metre-tall art sculpture on the bank of the town reach symbolising Newport's industrial past. Peter Fink created this monumental steel sculpture in 1990 with 50 tonnes of steel sheets. The Steel Wave is designed to be in constant movement, animated by the wind blowing through the triangular veins which hang from the sculpture's central saddle. 
The impressive art installation, made with 50 tons of sheet steel, is a lot to see on its own, but a visit to the area gives you a glimpse into Newport's industrial past. Take some time to walk around and see the sights on the riverbanks and capture some pictures of this monumental steel sculpture. The Riverfront Theatre and Arts Centre A lively theatre and arts centre based in the centre of Newport City Centre that brings as many people as possible into contact with the arts and creativity, with professional performances, film screenings, and workshops this renowned theatre and arts centre is a host home for art classes, dance and theatre studios, and ceramics and other art crafts workshops. It also provides rooms for art-free art exhibitions. It could be referred to as the entertainment centre of Newport simply because it presents lots of entertainment and fun for both locals and visitors. The Riverfront offers a mix of comedy, opera, dance, music, drama, and a cafe bar with an outdoor terrace view of the River Usk. Newport Market Hall The traditional Victorian indoor market goes far back as 1854. It is home to 100 stalls on two floors occupying a sprawling cast iron frame building with a glass-filled barrel roof. The Market Hall is the perfect place to pick up Welsh cakes or a nice loaf of bar a berth, Welsh fruit bread. You can also find fresh produce, meat, fish, arts and crafts, coffee, etc. You will find many fascinating things in the market. One is the highly detailed matchsticks model of the Newport Transporter Bridge and the underground cells. Newport Museum and Art Gallery The museum is located on John Frost Square, from ancient history to modern artworks. It also offers access to a massive collection of library books and displays beautiful and creative sculptures, ceramics, and porcelain. It houses an extensive collection of classical and contemporary arts, including the works of several highly well-known Welsh painters like Kerry Richards. The Chartist collection of weapons, silvers, and prints are some of the museum's most prized possession. The Transporter Bridge achieves materials and fine arts from Dame Laura, Knight, L. S. Lowry, and Sir Stanley Spencer.